Is morale at an all-time low in your office? Well, one management expert has created a management model for building office teamwork and camaraderie. His new book is titled Everybody Paddles, a leader's blueprint for creating a unified team. With us today is Charles A. Archer, author and CEO of the Evelyn Douglas Center for Serving People in Need. Welcome to you. Now, you say this technique can improve your personal and professional lives. How so? Uh, I definitely want to say thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here with you. Um, it, it, Everybody Paddles is all about unity. It's about consensus. It's about productivity. And you want that not just in your professional life, but you also want it in your personal life. Why should we choose partners and raise children and live in communities where there isn't any consensus or there isn't any people working together? Especially in the African American and Latino and brown and black communities, we should be really thinking about how do we grow personally, but equally, how do we grow professionally? And so we bring everyone along with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, I want to ask you, because I find it to be an interesting story, how you came up with Everybody Paddles. Um, it, it's, it's interesting. I was at a, a networking event, and uh, I had the opportunity to get some quiet time away just to kind of calm, calm, my, calm myself. And uh, I wound up looking through a, a magazine, mm -hmm. and there was a whitewater raft, and everyone in this raft was intensely looking at each other like mm -hmm. let's work together and literally in that moment uh what i would call from the heavens it came that everybody should paddle at the same time in the same direction towards the same goal and when i think about white water rafting you go through this period of calm water mm -hmm. rough water still water chaotic water that's what we do in life and if we could really partner with people in general, personally and professionally, mm -hmm. that um, believe in what we're doing and want to support us and uplift us, it would be fantastic. Yeah, and that's and if you're going to flip the boat over, the oh. rapid will get you, you if you don't do it together. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it, it would seem to me to be a, a logical uh, line of thinking for anyone that's managing people. Right. Why do you think you don't see enough people sort of following the, this philosophy? Uh, I, would, I would like to think that it, because people have lost the ability to think that these type of things are possible. Mm -hmm. We now live in a society where it seems so much about division and individualism that we really have lost that we can be um, partners. When we look at for-profit and not-for-profit organizations, we all want the same things. And it's interesting, one of the points you make in the book mm -hmm. is that at, at times of, that America is really about individualism a lot of times. Absolutely. But at times of great strife and stress and tragedy, we really focus on what we are as a whole. Mm -hmm. And you're saying if you can find a way to uh, in incorporate that in the way you operate your life and your business Absolutely. on a daily basis, Absolutely. you can be a successful manager. In, in our communities, we hear all the time, watch how you pick your friends. It's about everybody paddles. It's about the fact that you should be with people who are friends and professionals and colleagues where unity stabilizes your boat. Your boat becomes your life. What do you think, what's the, 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 the thing that you think, the first thing, uh, if somebody really wants to make themselves a top-notch manager, mm -hmm. what's the first thing they need to do to sort of start setting the pieces in place? Uh, I, I definitely, there's, there's a couple of things. The first thing that comes to mind is that leadership is about followership. The minute you decide that you want to be a leader, it has to be about everybody else. It can never be about you. And that's really difficult for and a lot of people. A lot to of let people, go of. you know, it's, it's a process. <laughs> we don't all get there at the same time. But then the the most important thing that I would have to say is invest in yourself. When we look at the fact that purpose provides propulsion, which is the second principle, you've got to have purpose. And if your purpose is to grow professionally and personally, you've got to spend some time reading other than party. You have you know, to spend some, sorry. No, no, no. You're, you're the star here right now. <laughs> In the book, it's interesting that you talked about that, about that there is a, there is a period, because the two things 
seem to be uh, diametrically opposed to each other. Right. That you say it needs to be about everybody else, and then uh, on the one hand you say, well, you've got to focus on yourself. But you talk in the book about the fact that you do need that time to build yourself. It almost gets you in a position, right. it seems that you say, to be able to, to help others and to bring out the best in them. I, I think the, the one thing that we, we definitely miss is that, you know, there, there are moments where I need to worry about Charles, but then there are bigger moments where I need to say that everybody else matters more. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Douglas Center matters more than what I need to at the moment. Everybody paddles and what we're doing with that particular movement requires that my energy goes elsewhere. And the open door policy as a manager, important? Uh, availability is important okay. because I think what happens we get caught up in the concept that the door must be physically open it really just means I need to be available if you call me on my cell phone it's an open door policy for me mm -hmm. if you call me by email or we're talking by text it's still an open door policy the physicality of the door should not matter now and I, I before I let you go I do want to talk to you about the fact that this isn't just about a book it really is for you more about a movement this is the the third in a series of books yes. um, it sounds to me like a, a sort of a lifelong philosophy we've been working uh, through everybody paddles about creating a lifestyle brand when you live a life about unity the things that have happened in our society will be easy for you to figure out okay I need to connect with this particular person in order to make this happen in my community we come together as you said 9-11 Boston Marathon the, the racial tensions throughout the country at this moment but what happens after is where I like to sit mm -hmm. what do we do now to bring us together and I believe that those are the moments that everybody paddles is about All right everybody paddles dot com yes learn a little bit more about uh, you Absolutely. Your philosophy and the book. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Charles A. Archer, what a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure you. to meet Best you as well. Best of luck to you. Thank you. We'll be right back.